This is a follow-up to the last video I made where I analyzed 11 dirty Tesla videos. Chris was nice enough to let me use his videos. I found that the full self-driving is about 72% reliable. In this video, I wanted to show you all the amazing capabilities that full self-driving has today. For example, here at a blinking yellow, it knows to pause and then it makes a successful left-hand turn. Very nice. In this example, it's got a blinking red light and it knows to come to a stop and then proceed by itself through the intersection. Here it navigates to avoid a set of cones in the road. Welcome to Tesla Life. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the video with your friends. And I would appreciate it if you'd press that little like button. If you're thinking of buying a Tesla, please use my referral code, Nicholas4590. Dirty Tesla drives on a lot of dirt roads and notice how it can identify the roads. Here it's gonna make a right-hand turn, stopping at the stop sign. But uh, notice on the screen how it really can identify the edge of the roads even when uh, we're on this dirt, small, narrow dirt road. Does a great job. The uh, little uh, dots on the edge of the road are debris. It identifies debris on the roads. Here we're going to make a left-hand turn on a uh, sort of an interesting intersection, a little askew there. Uh, coming off a dirt road onto a main road and it makes the left-hand turn just fine. Here notice how the screen adjusts when you put on the rear view camera. Here it recognizes a blinking yellow, slows down but then proceeds which is nice. I thought this was interesting. It can detect the cars uh, across that median strip over there on the left. When going onto a highway, it transitions from full self-driving to autopilot or nav on autopilot. Notice the transition from navigate on autopilot to full self-driving when you come off an exit. This is the lane we should be in. So that was good. Just the way it did it was a little goofy. Um, so we have a red light, but we could go. And is it going to turn right on red? It is. Wow. Great job. Oh my gosh. And it's doing it. I, I did hit the accelerator a little bit. Another thing I noticed that I thought was cool, if you want to bring up this info, it'll move your car up. So you can always see your car, even if you bring that up. So I thought that was interesting. Um, it um, shows you better that the car moves out of the way when you do this. Going, looks like it's gonna do it. It knows it's, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, it's already doing a lot better than I thought. Um, but this is the hard part here because it's, I, I hate doing this myself. It's, I'm used to it now, but at first it was so stressful. So we have traffic that comes this way here. So we're stopping at the stop sign abruptly, paused, waiting for our turn. Use accelerator or gear start to continue. So it's not gonna continue. And you can see um, on the screen, there's just so many cars. So we have one more coming, which um, is displayed on the screen. And I'm gonna hit the accelerator and I'm gonna let off. Yeah, no, I'm gonna keep hitting the accelerator. And it did do it. Okay, so that was, that was pretty good. It basically said like, yeah, it's, I don't know. I'm not even in the thing. Um, and there's a newspaper on the ground. Oh, it dodged it at the last second. <laughs> that was funny. Wow, it saw that car like through the trees. That's insane. Um, and it did an okay job getting over. That's like super. Um, so let me turn it back on and we are going. I hit the accelerator just to move through and then we're gonna stop at this sign. And now we have people coming from the right. So it's not going, there is a car coming. Oh, it wants me to tell it to continue. So I told it and we're clear. It did see that car coming, so we're good. Um, so now we can get people's concerns. Nope, all the cameras are clean, so we're good there. This is impressive. It's gonna execute a U-turn. All right, so we're in the turn lane. This is a good start to the Michigan left. Really, really good. So stopping at the stop sign and continuing, which is great. Oh no, it stopped. No, this, wow, that is impressive. I'll throw that up really quick. So you can see there's nobody but move into the left turn lane besides no turn signal. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Had a problem with this intersection yesterday where um, we were gonna turn left and then immediately need to turn left. I liked how in this parking lot, it stops here uh, to let that car come through and then it uh, makes a left-hand turn uh, again in a parking lot, pretty nice. Could turn the turn signal on a little earlier to let people know what I'm doing. I'm actually going to mark that because that can be dangerous if you start to slow uh, and people aren't expecting it. 
auto lane change unavailable. It said for a second, but that went away. So we're gonna stop at this stop sign. Very good, let's see what it says. Waiting for cross traffic. There is a lot of it. It's switching between use accelerator and waiting for cross traffic. I don't know if I can't see or what. We do have a break in cars coming right here. So we'll see if the car will do it. If not, I'm gonna hit the accelerator. And it's doing it. It's doing it on its own, okay. I was ready to hit the accelerator, but I did not. So very good, very good. It sees them and it's not gonna move over for them. Oh, it did, it did, ugh. That's why I turned around, I wasn't gonna drive on it. Moving over for that person. Really happy with that behavior, that's, and I don't think there's any kind of cheat sheet out there. It's, it's pretty obvious, so we're stopping for the red light here, that red is the edge of the drivable space, and then yellow is um, the lines for dividing the two directions of traffic. Blue is cars going the same direction as you. Uh, yellow is cars going the opposite direction. Green is the car you're following. And now I'm guessing purple is, it's guessing. Other colors, purple is raised like a median. Uh, and then there are dots, so if something's in the road, you'll get a few, like three dots that show up as different shades of green or like turquoise or blue. And I, I mean, it means there's something in the road, but I can't figure out exactly what the different colors mean. This is a bike lane over here and you can see that it's detecting it. It's even putting the little bike symbol there at times. So we can't see this light yet. Uh, actually, yes we can, it is on the screen. Hopefully you can see that. It saw it very early that it was green. Driving on these, oh, see this person is, is uh, parallel parking and I'm gonna back up for them. Yeah. So they, they indicated that a little late or I didn't see. So that was an intervention. Here it recognizes some cones in the street and moves over by itself. I of course would have gotten over sooner because I saw it, but we did have plenty of room. This is a nice right on red that it executes. Got a human that is gonna cross. Car creeps forward and stops. I think it's going to attempt to turn right on the red light, which is legal. Maybe not. Autopilot creeping forward, that's what it says. Checking for our, waiting for our turn. Checking for visibility, it says on the screen there are cars coming that it obviously sees. And is it gonna go? Yes it is, which is great. We have plenty of room here to go. And weird little lane change there. But that was really impressive. Uh, I like how it tells me, now I can't look at this too much, obviously, because I'm trying to look for cars, but. It says creeping forward for visibility. So gives you some, some confidence that it's not just jutting out into traffic. Here's a set of roundabout examples. It seems to be very hesitant with the yield sign. So this is the first one. It's mapped great, which the first roundabout I ever did was. I got some cyclists over there. And it's still messed up in the last uh, couple videos ago. But this time it's doing it a little slow, uh, but it's doing it. I'm gonna hit the accelerator because somebody's behind me. But besides that, there you go. So it did that roundabout well, I'll say. So here you did not need that, but it doesn't hurt. Uh, stopping at yield signs, you don't need to, st it, it says stopping at T-intersection, it doesn't need to do that. And that would probably annoy people. So good, did the roundabout, it's good. Yeah, that was a weird, trying to get in the left turn lane for some reason. So waiting here clearly displays the minivan. I'm gonna hit the accelerator again because not very good, and there we go. So going straight through, a little bit of harder acceleration than I would have done, but hey, not too bad. All right, let's do one. If I turn it back on here, we can let it go through this roundabout. It should do a fine job of this. And it's proceeding. And so yeah, handles that roundabout fine. Everything looks great on the screen there, despite it being nighttime, pretty dark out. It's Here are two examples of it failing on a roundabout. I should have included this with the uh, previous video. If you look at the navigation, you'll see how it navigates across the median. So uh, it's really the navigation that's uh, not figuring out exactly where it should uh, go. Make it all the way around this time, right? Here we go. Nope, I guess not. Okay, that's that's pretty strange. That is a problem with the older cars, is they can get their radars blocked by snow. The newer cars, that shouldn't be an issue. But I was going down the highway, it's cold enough, there was a lot of snow there for a minute, 
And so I wasn't too surprised that that happened. So I did pull over, wiped it off, and now we're back. One interesting thing though is all the visuals, this all worked perfectly with the radar covered. So it looked the exact same. I didn't record anything, but this all looked the exact same, but I could not turn on full self-driving. I could not turn on traffic aware cruise control. It gave me the front radar reduced visibility message. I thought this was quite impressive. Look how well it maps out the road in the dark. So even in the dark, really dark wet roads, taking that right turn nicely and transitioning onto the dirt. Uh, well, so that's good. We'll go a little slower. It's, roads are probably terrible right now. So yeah, handling this dirt road at night, we'll give it brights. Hey, maybe we'll come across some deer. But otherwise, yeah, it handled that precipitation well. All right, so here's a cool scenario. This guy is pulled off to the side. Come on, you can do it. Oh, he started to go. What is he doing? Oh man, my car handled that beautifully though. I don't know why he started driving right as I was beginning. Oh yeah, oh yes, nice. Pops out in front of me and almost right away, you can see the deer is all the way on the left side of the road and there's a little square on my screen representing the deer as a pedestrian symbol. That's the same symbol used for humans. As the deer continues across the road, my car begins to brake, which you can tell by this little green line here. That is my car regenerating energy and slowing down. It tries to plan a path around the deer, moving to the right to avoid the deer. As the deer moves right across the road, the car then reroutes, and it shows on the screen a path to the left to avoid the deer while still braking with the green regen line. As my car gets closer to the deer, it moves over to the left to avoid it. Then my car is finished slowing down, but the car does display the deer on the screen as they jump across the road. Really good to see that full self-driving. No. Exterior lights off, fog lights off. So the lights are off, add in so you can see exactly what the cameras are seeing. But yeah, it's handling these back roads fine. And they're so we are in the left turn lane, waiting for this traffic ahead of us. Car hits the brakes. And so these, honestly, these situations are a little nerve wracking. Like this gap, okay, it's not gonna go. Like, I feel like the car's gonna try to go, but it's gonna go too slowly and then I'm gonna have to stop it. Of course, nothing bad is gonna happen because I'm in control, but okay, I think it's getting ready to go. Nope, wow, very cool. So it saw that car coming and decided to wait. All right, now it's time. And look at it, look at it go. Oh yes, I love it. Really good left. Okay, that was a perfect speed, perfect aggressiveness. And it was a sharp left and it did great. Avoids the car over there. Yes, awesome, awesome, awesome. Turn coming up. Little early. Yeah, actually, you know, it's hard to say. It is a little early. This is too fast. Um, but we have all those cars there. And that is something, there's a Model Y, red Model Y. I wonder if that's the one I saw earlier today. Uh, very nice looking. So that was good. Wow, that's like what the fifth Tesla I've seen today. Green arrow, car immediately begins to move forward and does a beautiful job with this left turn. It's not over yet, but now it is. I was impressed here how it continued uh, since that car didn't get into our lane. Asterisk. Slowing. This is my first try at a roundabout with this version. So I'm touching the accelerator because it's a yield, not a stop. But the car is doing it. Turn signal. Nobody in Michigan uses turn signals and roundabouts, but I guess technically you're supposed to. People were commenting about this out. So it wants to turn right here. There are cones in the way. It's kind of struggling, but it's, it's doing it. It's doing it. There's a guy there. He's obviously not in our way. Nice job. Huge puddle. Okay. I don't know. Uh, clearly sees those cars. Like look how far it's seeing. Now I have to look. I think, there you go, it can see that way. All right, now I'm paying attention here. So the car needs to creep forward, which it's doing. So the car coming from the left, but we're stopping for it. These, these moments are, they're difficult to let the car do it. So it's gonna go, and it did it. So it did turn in front of somebody, but we had enough room. We had enough room, we can complete it this time, and we can do that, so path looks good on there no need to really stop there but oh you wow <laughs> you can see it going around the whole circle hopefully you can do this that would be a big improvement over older versions beautiful wow very good awesome so it, it, this is why we got to keep up with the very minimal braking here I was surprised it uh, rolls through stop signs sometimes here you can see it 
And what's so funny here is after passing a police officer, it does come to a full stop at the next stop sign. <laughs> Waiting for our turn. That was interesting. I think it's just a coincidence, but we passed the cop and then we make the complete stop. Sometimes it wants you to acknowledge a right turn. Perfect. So I've got to turn right out here, waiting for cross traffic, and now it says use accelerator or gear stock to continue. So it's asking me for help. So I'm going to hit that, and now I have to look and see, and there are no cars coming. So I'll let the car continue. It still seems to slow down a lot uh, when cars turn in front of you. Which there are no cars, so we continue. Oh, okay. A little weird, but it handled it. And all right, we need to put in the next. It's going to go around them. Very good. And that's our destination, so it's going to stop us. After this turn, it has to get in the far left lane, which is a tricky maneuver. Watch it. Or right about here. Time to go. Go. Oh my gosh, it's doing it. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm kind of blown away by that. Now it needs to move all the way to the left, which it's not going to be able to do, I would assume. There's nobody behind me yet, so I can let it play around. Yeah, it's doing that way too slow. Speed limit on this road is 45, but most people go about 60. And okay, it did, it, it technically did it. Wow, wow, okay, I'm surprised by that. Just in time. So it has turn signal on. See, stopping for traffic control. We don't wanna do that, so I'm gonna tell it to go. Yep, it's, okay, it figured it out. It was like gonna go to the left, like illegally around the circle. But and now it's doing it correctly. You can see the car is doing it. Keep going, keep going. And look at that, a full roundabout in the traffic circle. That's... So complete stop. And there are cars coming, but I don't know if it was waiting for those or what. Wow. Okay, that was magical because it made the complete stop and I was... This is a pretty tricky maneuver. I was surprised it did it. Lines back there. And yeah, yeah, actually pretty good. I was going to say a tiny bit close, but nope, then it fixed itself and it did a great job. Lots of garbage. Here it slows down for speed bumps. As he went over it. Slowing down. I don't know how it sees it or how it knows. Got somebody crossing the street. We're slowing for them. They are displayed. Oh my gosh. It's just, it's good. It, it's good. I should have included this with the previous video. I thought you'd like to see it. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, I'm, I'm just letting it figure it out. There's nobody behind me. So, yeah, obviously that was the wrong move. Here's a left turn at a blinking yellow light. So making this left turn here at a blinking yellow. Very cool. So it had a blinking yellow arrow and blinking yellow light won't go. So we probably, oh, we got a green arrow and the car starts to go. Wow, I wonder if it saw that green arrow or not. I would assume it did just because the second that green red just because of the holidays, there's not much traffic or something's wrong. So stopping for traffic control and continues through. So that's really cool. I have not seen uh, blinking red without a stop. Sign. We don't want to, we don't want to speed up for you. Nice. Ooh, nice debris avoid. Okay. More debris in the road. Ooh. Does not avoid. Okay. That was smaller debris. Oh, oh. it's stopping for the birds. Oh. Oh. It's stopping. Oh. Oh. oh, that was sick. Wow. It showed him on the screen too. <laughs> Far away. Uh, yep, this person Slow down is more. in the lane. Oh, car moving over. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Pretty. Let's see, will it do it? I'm gonna oh, leave it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yes. All right. Nice job. Way to go. It here thinks we, it's gonna, here we go. I see, I see what it's gonna do. No, it's gonna do it right. You got it. It's okay, you can do it. You got it. Checking here for we, visibility. Tesla. So it can't see. I said I'm gonna shut up and then I just talked the whole time. It's cool. Sick. Like nothing. Sick. Here on a snow-covered road, it actually maps out the path. Uh, I don't know what it's using to determine the edge of the road, but maybe the uh, previous road lines, it's very, it does it very, very nicely. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe on the top left and share the video with your friends. My other Model 3 videos are here in the middle. If you want 1,000 miles of free supercharging, please use my referral code listed on the bottom. My Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter accounts are on the right. And check out my new channel, Pickleball is Life. It's a great game, and subscribe on the bottom left. Take care.